Cambridge University alumni, Xiao Tianfu. Three Chinese individuals are connected with Cambridge University. The first is Fu Xiaotian, a news anchor at Phoenix TV who recently donated a garden to Churchill College. The article describes the naming and groundbreaking ceremony for the garden, as well as the delay in its opening. The second individual is Su Jima, a renowned poet who studied at Cambridge in the 1920s. The article discusses the memorial garden and marble stone dedicated to Su Jima's legacy at Cambridge. The third individual is Jean Yong, Louis Cha, a prolific author and scholar who received an honorary doctorate from Cambridge and pursued a master's and doctorate at the university in his 80s. The article details his academic journey and the unveiling of his couplet stone at St. John's College. Fu participates in a variety of philanthropic endeavors. In 2016, her alma mater, Churchill College at the University of Cambridge named a garden after her, the Xiao Tian Fu Garden, in recognition of her gifts to support education, learning, and research. The then Director General of UNESCO, Irina Bakova, sent a message of congratulation on the occasion of the naming ceremony, saying it was a recognition of what Ms. Xiao Tian Fu is doing. Xiao Tian Fu interviewed Stephen John Tup OCFRSC. Stephen is a Canadian legal scholar, academic administrator, and a scholar specializing in human rights, public international law, and international relations. In November 2022, he was appointed as the fifth president and CEO of the Canadian Institute for Advanced Research. Speaking as Master of Churchill College, I'm absolutely delighted that we are able today to open this garden, which has been funded with the generosity of Jiajian Fu, who has given so much to this college. Jiajian was a, um, an alumna of the college studying education here, and her commitment to education is really heartwarming, and we're absolutely delighted and delighted that she's able to come back to the college. Her gifts to the college enable education in a broad sense to be supported and that long-lasting link between an alumna like Jai Chan and the college is really important to the college. So thank you, thank you so much. Jai Chan, as many of you will know, is a journalist with Phoenix TV and recently she interviewed the university's vice-chancellor Stephen Toop and he has asked me to say he's really sorry he can't be here today. I think he's in America, but I may be wrong. But he sent me some words to read out. Uh, about so Stephen Tupper said... the contribution of the alumni is for the development of the university. Yeah, so this is growing tremendously. Of course, the American universities have been great at this for a long time. They really have worked hard to include alumni. And I, I think that British universities have only begun that process a bit later. Uh, but now it's in full throttle. Uh, we're really working hard to to try to encourage alumni to feel part of the institution, not simply graduates, but continuing members. And in fact, even formally speaking, once you're a student at Cambridge, you're always a member of your college. I can have. Yes, exactly. And this is terrific. We're, we're in the middle of a two billion pound uh, fundraising campaign, uh, and we've already passed the uh, 1.4 um, billion pound mark. We just uh, recently announced the largest ever gift by a British citizen to a, a UK university, a hundred million pounds to support graduate students primarily and undergraduates to some extent. So uh, I think that dynamic of support for the university is really developing and, and we're working hard uh, with our uh, international alumni uh, to make that 
true as well. How, how did you make this message across? Uh, I mean, letting the alumni know that the university is actually would be open for any sort of contribution? Well, I think it's just constantly uh, engaging with our alumni, building up local alumni associations. We now have alumni associations in many parts of the world, especially here in China. Uh, we've got a big group, uh, Beijing, Shanghai, Hong Kong, um, and we're building out in other Shenzhen, uh, other cities as well. So I think having a sense that we, we care about our alumni, that we're trying to help them uh, develop networks uh, based around the university, the fact that more of us are visiting. I try to come here uh, regularly uh, to uh, Asia uh, to meet with alumni associations. I'm going to be coming back uh, again uh, later this year. I think all of those are signals to our alumni that we care about them, we want them to feel part of the university, and increasingly we're asking them to contribute back. And I believe there's a special recognition, right, for the contributors from the alumni, such as a friend circle of the vice chancellor. So we have different levels of giving, and of course we have giving to the colleges and giving to the university as well. But what you're referring to is something called the vice chancellor circle. So when people give a, gifts of a certain level, uh, they become part of that circle, and we invite people to events. Uh, we have uh, uh, it, the boat race, exactly, and, and that's fun. I mean, it just is a way of recognizing recognizing uh, people who've made a contribution. And then we also have something uh, called the Guild of Cambridge Benefactors, which is an even higher level of contribution. And those uh, people are invited to a ceremony at the Senate House, which in which they're invested in the Guild. There's a wonderful dinner at King's College. And then we uh, also have other events uh, constantly to recognize their level of contribution. So I, I just think it's, it's a continuing relationship and understanding that the graduation is not the end of the story, it's the beginning of a new relationship. Right, so as a Vice Chancellor of the uh, University of Cambridge, is such a prestigious university in the world, how do you say that your time is dedicated? One of the exciting yeah. things uh, about being Vice Chancellor is that my day changes constantly because I have so many different uh, hats that I'm wearing. So uh, we've talked about fundraising and alumni, I would say that probably is about a third of my time. Uh, but then there's government relations, making sure that we have good relationships uh, in, in research funding, etc., both nationally and internationally. Uh, it's also about uh, trying to think about the future of the university and creating um, a, a framework uh, for decision making and priority setting for the university. So that's another major part. And then I also have to just get out and meet people. I have to spend time going to the colleges, going to the departments, so that I understand what's happening at the university and can be an effective spokesperson for what Cambridge represents today. A spokesperson, a leader, and an ambassador of the university all along. All at the same time, yeah. exactly. It's so fun.